Welcome to Ask the Expert, a web series designed to provide you with practical information on business and finance. I'm your host, Nicole Pride. I am super delighted to have with us today, Alan Boomer, who is the founder and managing partner of Momentum Advisors, which is a certified minority-owned investment management and financial planning business based in New York City with over, get this, $330 million in assets under management. What I'll say is this, like entrepreneurship is so simple and I think people overcomplicate it. Right. And I think that's the thing that I want folks to take away from this is that entrepreneurship doesn't have to be inventing the next Google. It doesn't have to be, you know, something that, that requires investment. It doesn't investment of dollars. It could be a, of course, investment of time and effort, um, and it doesn't have to be something that requires a whole lot of advanced planning. Like, I think you need to have an idea in mind. But the biggest thing you need is three things. You need something that people need, whether it be a product or a service. Mm -hmm. You need something that they're willing to pay for. Like, that's a big thing. You got to yeah. get paid. And then finally, you got to be able to deliver the product or service at a price where you can make a profit. Right. Right. And that's, that's like the key. probably one of the hardest things about entrepreneurship is coming up with that right price. When I speak to kids, I say, what's the one thing that you need to have a business? Like to say that you're in business, you need this one thing. If you don't have this one thing, then you don't have a business. And often the adults raise their hands first and they're like, you need, um, you know, a business plan. You need an office. You need a website. You need mm -hmm. a business card. Mm -hmm. You need an LLC. And I'm like, nah. And then the kids raise their hands. You need determination. You need um, pride. You need. And I'm like, yo, those are all really nice things to have. But if you don't have this one single thing, you don't have a business. And that's customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you've got customers, you've got a business. Like in my first year, we were managing about $26 million. And you, you gave the number earlier. We're, we're now managing well over $300 million. Yeah. And we have, you know, hundreds of clients all over the country. Mm -hmm. We have, we employ about 10 people at the firm. But what I'm getting at about leadership is that it's getting things done through other people is what really makes you a CEO. Mm -hmm. Like running your own business, being your own person. Sure, you've got to manage yourself and that's very difficult. But if you really want your business to grow, you're going to need to do it with other people. And so what is it that you would advise folks who are in their startup phase? Is there one or two key things that they should consider? Yeah, I'd say this, like, number one, figure out how you can get some customers as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Number two, figure out the best way to fund your business. And it's not investors. It's not debt. It's not equity. It's revenue. The thing I want you to know is that you've been lied to your whole life. <laughs> People have told you that entrepreneurship is risky. People have told you that working a full-time job is the safe bet. They've also told you that entrepreneurship is it, it requires a vow of poverty in the beginning. Uh, they've told you Love. that, yeah, they, they've just lied to you. <laughs> entrepreneurship is the safest thing I've ever done. 